Thank you. A bear looking to make a dent under a porch in Torrington prompted calls to deep over the weekend. NBC Connecticut's Environment Beat reporter Kevin Geist joining us live from Torrington where some believe they know this bear looking for a home. Kevin. <laughs> Yeah, Kevin Amber, good evening. Well, neighbors in the uh, neighborhood believe that this is what they call a uh, resident bear. They see him or her pass through all the time. He goes through the neighborhood frequently. But Deep, of course, says trying to make a nest or a den underneath a house is not necessarily a good thing. And they also say they want to make sure that people understand what hibernation really means for bears here in the state. There's a little pond area kind of. Yeah. Being bear aware is a common thing in Torrington. I'm not really afraid for them sure. because it's a usual thing. We just have yeah. to look out for them. This Chamberlain Street neighborhood regularly sees this bear using what they call his highway, a path from a wooded area through their street towards Route 202. Catherine Richard lives along the path. They go over to this bush here to the telephone pole, and then they go to our backyard, and then they cross the street over. To the next street. But over the weekend, a bear attempted to move in and call the neighborhood home. According to Deep, they were called to Chamberlain Street for a bear trying to den under someone's house. Well, I'm glad it's not mine. So it wasn't actually trying to get into the house. It was trying to get sort of under the house, for lack of a better way to put it. Jenny Dixon, director of Deep's Wildlife Division, says this doesn't count as a home entry, a major concern for the department, but it's still too close for comfort. As our bears have become more habituated, more food conditioned, are a lot less afraid of us and our neighborhoods, they are looking to some non-traditional locations to find denning areas. She says calls have increased related to what she calls non-traditional dens, even in the winter. Bears are not true hibernators, and I think that's one of the things Things that confuses people a lot. Our black bears in Connecticut don't hibernate like you think. Dixon explains they do sleep for long periods and drop their heart rate and body temperature for a long slumber, but they don't sleep the winter away. They can still be very active. We need to be bear wise year round. That means taking bears into consideration through the winter months and scaring them back into their habitat is key if they come too close. Recognize that we play a part in trying to keep bears wild and trying to keep bears safe. Dixon says it's just really important to make sure that we're scaring those bears away when they do get too close to home. Also, never leaving that trash out like you might want to when it gets really cold or using those bird feeders in the winter. That still can attract those bears that you might think would normally be hibernating. They say it's what's best for the bears and the people living here in Connecticut. We're live in Torrington tonight. Kevin Geis, NBC Connecticut News. Guys, back to you. Kevin, thank you.